Hi, Krista. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, Lyra. How are you? I'm very well. So you're so incredible on this show. I especially loved your scene work with Caleb when he's showing his characters, showing you around the lot. You're riding bikes. It's just so adorable. I love that whole montage. So what were some of your favorite moments to play? Thank you. I would say that is definitely um, on the top of my list in terms of episodes. Um, riding a bicycle in six inch heels and a big dress. Oh and wings was definitely um <laughs> one for the books I never thought I would ever have to do that um but had so much fun and Caleb was so like respectful and such a gentleman always offering his arm um oh. I think also one of my favorites was probably working with with Rachel Bloom yes. um <laughs> I'm such a fan and I think one of the one of the first times I met her she turned to everybody because she's on one side of the table we're on the other and she and um so she was the only person on screen at the time and she was just like guys thank you so much for like acting even though you're not on screen and just I felt like that really reflected the kind of person she is just somebody who really like takes the time to be to be grateful and I learned a lot from that moment that's so sweet. So you look like you're having so much fun making this show. Tell me about, other than that moment, your favorite memories of making this show in downtime with the cast. <laughs> yeah, the downtime is always just laughter, to be honest. And a lot of those chickpea puffs, have you ever had those? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Now I'm addicted and I feel like they sell them everywhere. They're made out of chickpeas mm. and they look like Cheeto puffs. Um, okay. and they're flavored with cheddar, but they are so good. Um, <laughs> I need to find so, these. <laughs> a lot of laughter, a lot of chickpea puffs. Um, and just also the first time I ever played an adult. So it's mm. been really nice to kind of like spread my wings and, um, have the space to really make choices and, um, ask the questions and learn every day. Yeah. Yeah, you've had some amazing scene partners and collaborators over the years, though. Who would um, you still like to work with? Oh, my gosh, from the past? Uh, yeah. I mean, everyone on Dr. Ken probably mm -hmm. has fueled who I am today as a person, but also how I am with my creative space. Um, they taught me to make a bold choice and go for it. That's like Tisha Campbell Martin, Jonathan Slavin, Susie Nakamura, Ken Jung, Dave Foley, Albert Tsai. They all act with um, so much just bravery. They're not, they're fearless. Um, so I learned a lot from them. And then Tim Allen and Yance Travis and Hector Elizondo were also very deep people and deep mm -hmm. actors who, who asked the questions and advocated for their characters, something I also never knew I could do. So um, would I want to work with all of them again? 100%. My dream and the crews too. Like my, my, right. my secret dream is to one day just like have everybody all together in one space. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> so if you could reboot any show or reimagine any show, what would it be and who would you want to play? Um, so this has been a thing. I always wanted <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> I wanted there to be a reboot or like a 20th season of King of Queens um, because mm. at the end they adopt a young Asian girl and I always hoped I could be her grown up. Um, I wanted oh. that for Sex in the City too. I think that happened. And mm -hmm. um, actually I thought that for Modern Family too. If Lily ever met her mom, I wanted to be her adopted mom. Like these are like dreams that I had written down in like a book at one point. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Go for your dreams. Well, thank you so, so much for the art you bring to the world. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. Thank Have you. a lovely day. Thank you. Thanks.